So today we got a Mazda and it had a bad hub bearing and it's a Mazda CX-9 front hub bearing was bad. So I got the new bearing. Uh, give you the part number. I got a box here somewhere. Here it came from, I believe this was Napa. There it goes. That's the part number. It was like 50 bucks, uh, maybe a little more, 60 bucks. Uh, but the, you can buy a loaded knuckle now for like 500 bucks. It's, if you're, I mean, if you're unable to press it and, you know, and God forbid you need other parts, it might be worth it for you. If you're a parts guy and you can just rip it all and put it back on, that's great. You need a press like that in the corner to shop the orange one to put this together. Uh, I'm not here to show you that, but what I'm here to show you is this. So if you notice the back side of this right there. So this is a two-piece bearing. Obviously, it sits like this. But here's here's what I want to show you. See that? So that hub itself is bad, too. I could see by the way it looked, but then I grabbed the old bearing. It there, took it apart, and I slid it on it. It's a press-on fit. So that's bad. Um, so that's horrible. Um, that's what was making the noise. The bearings inside were actually in decent shape. Um, but you can hear it moving. Either way, what I'm telling you is that that, you will need to replace that also. And you can actually buy that separate. They used to sell a kit. I can't find the kit anymore. Well, I didn't find a kit for this particular one. But here's the only place that had it. I had to drive an hour away for this. Uh, but it's a good customer, so worth it. Um, and got nothing to do tonight anyway, but get this off my left and out of the way. So anyway, and then the next thing I'm going to tell you is something that I could not find anywhere until I read through about 35 posts, three videos, comments. Then I had a guy, I had a comment on a guy's video and then I'm looking. So I'm trying to justify it and write and I find it in like, uh, I forget what it was, some website. I should have snapshot it. But anyway, 174 minimum on this axle nut. 202, so you got a little bit of weed, weed way there. Uh, when I'm dealing with hub bearings, I usually go to the minimum because the more you press on it, the more you squeeze it, the more you squeeze it, the more it's going to wear out. Um, and we're not trying to have it wear out. So, again, 174 to 202 torque spec on a front hub bearing on a Mazda CX-9. This is a 2007, could be 2008, all this body style. Thanks, like and subscribe for more handy, helpful hints.